Hey everybody, my name is Matt, and today I'm gonna to show you the five things you need to know about in CleanShot version 4.3. So I've got my workspace here and I'm gonna take a screenshot of the window and I need to share this with someone. I need to mark it up a little bit as well. So I'm just going to use the quick access overlay to bring up the annotation tools and I can do arrows. I can, you know, put boxes around things, right? Like all the normal stuff you'd expect in CleanShot. But the cool new thing we have here is a zoom option. So it zooms to kind of just fit the window by default and that's 70% the normal size, but I can zoom in, I can zoom out, I can fit to the canvas, which is what it's doing here. And and I can go half size, full size, or double size. And I'm gonna use keyboard shortcuts to do the rest of this, but you can do it from that menu as well. But if I wanted to do some detailed uh, masking out of some of these names down here, instead of having to be really precise with my mouse, I can now hit Command Plus a couple times, and then I can use my mouse or my trackpad to scroll around the image. And I can also hold the spacebar down to just kind of drag around exactly where I want. So now I can go ahead and mask out just the things I want perfectly without getting anything else. So when I'm done, hit command one to go full size and make sure everything still looks good. And then I can just say I'm done when I'm done. So zoom was the number one feature request for CleanShot and it's really exciting to have it in this update. The second big update in this release is an improvement to how pinned screenshots work. So for a long time, you've been able to pin screenshots to your desktop and keep them on there while you work. And that's awesome for referencing things like color schemes in this case, or just any other information that you like, you can just keep it on screen. But one of the challenges you might've run into is if you have it pinned up here, for example, you can't access these window controls. You have to move it down and then do whatever you wanna do. And that's sometimes nice, but it's not always nice. So what we've enabled in this release is the ability to lock a pinned screenshot to that position on the display. And now when you mouse over it, you actually have access to whatever's behind it. So your pinned screenshot stays where it is, but I can now access these. I can interact with them immediately. There's no need to like move this out of the way. It just works and that's really, really cool. You can unlock it whenever you want and it goes back to the original behavior. Additionally, if I want to save this to my desktop, I can, I'm done using it for example, I can use this grabber here and now I can grab it and put it wherever I want. I put it on my desktop here, I can move it into an email, a message, whatever. It's just like any other time you drag something in CleanShot, you're able to drag it into whatever you'd like and now you can do it from pinned screenshots. Another big thing in this update is an improvement to how video works. So I'm actually recording this full screen video in CleanShot right now and if I click, I can go into just a portion of the screen and I can go ahead and do the rest of whatever I want to do. This is a really cool way to like intro a video in full screen to kind of have the audience's full attention and then transition into your screencast so you can show what's on your screen, do whatever you'd like. That's really awesome, a really useful feature that I'm going to use a lot. Additionally, this isn't new, but this is something that not everyone may know. Uh, you can actually move this by dragging wherever you'd like on your screen. So basically any corner, the top, bottom, left, or right as well, you can pin it to those locations and it'll just stay there for whatever is most convenient for you. In this video, I like the bottom right, but you can move it wherever you need. You also control the shape of your video. So it's a circle by default and that's what it's always been, but you can also change it to a square or you can change it over to a rectangle, which just takes the full video from your webcam. You can use whichever one you prefer. I personally like the circle. And of course you can move them around to different corners to whatever part of the screen you'd like. Uh, and you can also flip the camera. So if your camera is flipped the wrong direction for whatever reason, you can now fix that in CleanShot. For the next update, we have to go to CleanShot's preferences. So if you go to the cloud tab from the preferences, you're gonna see this upload option to ask for a name and show advanced options. So we're gonna check this and I'll show you what you can do. So I'm just going to take a screenshot of my doc, right? So nothing special, uh, but when I go ahead and upload this to the cloud, it's gonna prompt me to change the name. I can add some tags if I'd like. That's available to everyone with a CleanShot Cloud account. And if you're a pro user, you can also set a password and tell the file to self-destruct after one, seven, 14, up to 365 days. So I'll say self-destruct after one day, and I'll set the password to something very secure, test one, two, three, four, and I can hit the eye icon there to just make sure that I didn't have any typos in it. Looks good, so let me go ahead and upload. It's gonna to upload to the cloud. There we go. My link's copied to my clipboard and to show how it works if I'm not myself and logged in, I'll just have a private window open here in Safari. I can just paste it from my clipboard, hit enter, and it's gonna prompt me to 
access the file. So if I don't have the password, it's gonna block me. And if I do have the password, it's going to let me in, see the file, download it. And we're not gonna wait here a day to show it self-destruct, but within a day it will self-destruct. So it's no longer accessible if that's another feature that you are using. Okay, and then finally, I'm gonna take a screenshot of my entire display so I can show you two new additions to the quick access overlay menu. So if I right click on this, you're gonna see an option to flip horizontal, which just lets me flip the content uh, in the screenshot if I need to mirror something for some reason. And I can also scale the screenshot down to one X if it's a retina screen that I'm taking a screenshot of. It's gonna export the content at kind of two X resolution, which is usually awesome. It gets you the most fidelity, but sometimes when you're handing it off to someone else, it can cause issues, so you can scale it down down to 1x if you prefer. But yeah, those are the features in CleanShot 4.3. Uh, I think it's a really good update and we hope that you enjoy it. Thank you so much for watching.